Responsive design is defined as an approach to building a web page so that the web page can determine the viewer's screen size and orientation. Then change the layout of the web page to match the screen size. Without responsive design, a website that's designed for a 1600 by 900 resolution monitor might not appear correctly on another device. Without responsive design, a website that's designed for a 1600 by 900 resolution monitor might not appear correctly on another device, such as a 7-inch tablet. However, when a responsive design is created, your composition detects the size of the display, then adjusts itself so your layout is preserved and your composition displays properly in the browser window. In this lesson, we'll discuss how to set the stage for a responsive design, prepare elements for a responsive design, position your elements relative to the stage, use global or applied coordinates, and select a layout preset and change the default layout settings. The first step in creating a responsive design is to make the stage scalable. To do this, go to the Properties panel. Click the toggle for width and set it to Percentage. Change the value to 100. In addition, go to Max Width and deselect the None option. Now that you have the stage set for responsive design, it's time to take care of the elements as well. The last thing you want is for the images to get cut off when the container or browser window gets smaller. Go to the Elements panel and hold the Shift key down and select all the image elements. Now go to the Properties panel. Go to the Position and Size section and click the toggle for W to change it to Percentage. Now click the toggle for Height. Change it to Percentage as well. You now have your image elements and stage set up for responsive design. You may have some elements on your stage that you don't want to move. Perhaps you have buttons at the top of the page, and you want these to stay in their position no matter what. To make that happen, we're going to use the coordinate space picker in the Properties panel. First select the elements, then go to the Properties panel. Choose the corner of the stage where the element is closest to in order to keep them at a fixed distance from that corner. Next to the coordinate space picker, you'll see the two tabs that represent two modes, Global and Applied. You can set the position and size of an element in either mode. However, let's understand what each is. Coordinates are calculated relative to the stage in global mode. However, coordinates are calculated relative to the element's coordinate space in applied mode. What that means is this. If you select an element and click on global mode, the position may be 178 pixels on the x-axis and 247 pixels on the y-axis. This reflects its position from the top left stage corner, but if you select an element and click on Applied Mode, the coordinates will change to R179 pixels and T147 pixels. This reflects its own coordinate space. It's 179 pixels from the right edge of the stage and 147 pixels from the top edge of the stage. You have a lot of options when it comes to positioning and resizing elements and properties for a responsive design. It can get confusing and complicated. However, Edge Animate provides different presets that you can use to make your work easier. These presets are for common resizing behavior for images. These can be very useful when creating a responsive design. To access the layout presets, go to the Elements panel. Press Shift-click to select all the images. Now go to the Properties panel and click the Layout Preset button that appears to the right of the Global and Applied tabs in the Position and Size section. You'll then see the Layout Preset dialog box. Presets are listed in the left column. Select the Scale Size image. Now click the Apply button. All of your selected elements are now set to Percentage and all elements are relative to their parent. The default setting when you create and position new elements are to use pixels as the measurement and to measure from the upper left corner of the stage. However, this can be changed by going to the Layout Defaults panel in the Tools panel. When you click on the button, you'll then see the Layout Defaults panel. In addition to setting the unit of measurement and the point of reference, you can also choose to use IMG tags for images, as well as set the height and width to auto for images. Whenever you make changes to the layout defaults, the changes are made for the current composition only. They're not saved for use with future compositions. Take some time to explore the different layout presets and layout defaults to see how they affect your responsive design. Go to File Preview in Browser and resize the browser to see the changes, and you can also use the ticks on the stage. If you want to publish your composition for the web, then upload it to a website. You can also find free testing sites that'll show you what your responsive design looks like on different devices. Simply Google the phrase Test Responsive Design.